Welcome to Cassville, Missouri, located in Barry County and home to just over 3,000 people. Blink and you might miss it, but this small town has a big role in the history books. Gold, of course, was discovered in California in 1848. By nine, or 1860, the population of California had grown to a little less than 400,000 people. Congress was very interested and anxious to get settlements started coming to the West Coast, and they also needed communication between the East and the West Coast. Their solution? The Butterfield Overland Mail Stage Line. Congress awarded John Butterfield the contract for the mail route uh, in 1857. A stagecoach route starting in Tipton, Missouri and ending in San Francisco, California and lasting until 1861 before switching to a more northern route. The total trip took about 26 days. It was roughly 2,800 miles. They tried to make at roughly 100 miles a day. There was stopping, but there was no overnight stopping. If you wanted to sleep, you slept on the stagecoach. So it was a pretty rough ride. A rough ride that went across the state and through several towns here in the Ozarks. Of course, it, uh, it came through Springfield. It came down really through what's now Aurora, pretty much. About the first stage stop that was in Berry County was uh, the Smith Station. It was right over the line. And then they came down a little more to the Crouch Station, and it's just a little bit northeast of town. Although the only thing remaining of the Crouch Station is a stone marker on the Barry County back roads, you can find another plaque on the Cassville Square, recognizing the trail significance to the town. Then it came down to, through Cassville, and it went to, at that point it was called Keatsville, now it's Washburn, Missouri but that was the John Harbin station. And then they went on into Arkansas. Focusing on moving passengers and mail was a priority for the company. With so many risks on the long journey west, Butterfield was reluctant to take any chances that would compromise the safety of those who took the Overland Trail. Mr. Butterfield did not want to have to have guns, etc., on the stagecoaches. So it was well known that there was no valuables on the stage, so don't, don't try to hold them up because you're not going to get anything. It was not a pleasant experience, but if you wanted to get from one end of the country to the other, you didn't have much choice. But even with the precautions that were taken by Butterfield and the Overland Mail Company, their journey through Missouri and the rest of the country would be short-lived. Once the railroad got uh, finalized, really it was more important. It was easier to transport freight and passengers by railroad and not, and mail went by train. And if you feel the need to travel the route yourself? That's difficult to actually travel because a lot of that land is on privately held ground. Uh, you, can pretty, you can get pretty close, but to actually travel the route, it's not existent. Except for the markers that you might see across Missouri when visiting small towns like Cassville.